he's practicing male chastity and orgasm denial, is physically to stop his orgasm when he's actually making love to his wife. The often recommended course of action is not to allow him to make love at all, but that's just the stuff of silly fantasy. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Also you can give me thumbs up and put on the notification bell, this way you can get more of my video. Very few women would actually want that, we love our men and we want all of the emotional and physical connection of intercourse even if we're adamant about not letting them orgasm. So here are 4 simple strategies and tips I've found to be useful in my own life. 1. You can use this one at any time and with any of the others in combination. 1. Because even a small amount of wine tends to dull the senses somewhat and make it much easier for a man to keep control of his own orgasm. It's also great for relaxing you both and getting you in the mood. But, as I'm sure you can probably guess, you don't want to overdo it. Too much can make him fail to perform at all, especially if he's over 40. As I think Shakespeare once said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak or something like that. Not only that, but alcohol inhibits your rational thinking processes and makes your emotions much more likely to get you saying and agreeing to things that are perhaps not that smart when seen in the cold light of day. A quick flick. If you're making love and you get the sense he's about to come and he's obviously making no attempt to stop himself, then a quick flick from your index finger on the end of his penis will take all the wind out of his sails. It stings him a bit, but it's not that painful and it certainly won't injure him, be prepared for the look on his face, though. I recommend you warn him this is what you will do before you even start your foreplay. A sudden squeeze. Another strategy you can use in similar circumstances to the previous one is when he's about to come, reach down, take a firm grip of his penis with your thumb and forefinger, right where it meets his body, and give a firm squeeze, almost like a pinch. This will stop him dead in his tracks. Again, please do warn him this is what you're going to do if it looks like he's about to come. The ruined orgasm. And the last resort, if you've been too slow with the other methods is to give him a ruined orgasm. What this entails is as soon as he starts to come, and it's clear he can't stop, you immediately stop all stimulation. If you've never had a ruined orgasm, I can confidently tell you they are far, far worse than no orgasm at all. Just ask my husband. Doesn't make sense, right? I know. But it's true. I can't explain why it is, but it is. It's like, when you don't have an orgasm of any kind, you're still high, halfway there, walking around in a kind of semi-permanent orgiastic trance. But with a ruined orgasm you get the huge post-orgasm hormonal dump in your bloodstream but none of the satisfaction of the orgasm proper. I promise, he won't want to experience this again so will be much more careful next time. All of these techniques work and I encourage you to give them a try. It's not hard to get into the swing of things all it takes is a bit of study and a proper appreciation of the facts of male chastity and orgasm denial. 